Okay, so now on to my spinner baits. Just so you can see, I keep them in a Plano tackle box. I really like Plano as a storage sort of company. They really provide what you need. Uh, I got for starting off, I just got a little uh, spinner, uh, yeah, inline spinner. Jagged, that's not supposed to be in there. A couple of spoons, I probably have seven or eight spoons in here, just different sizes. And a couple of different blades that I can substitute out if I ever need to. Um, this is one of my unique lures. I haven't seen too many of these out on the market. But they work very good for bass. This is a Kakeda. I uh, don't know exactly what those are called. Onto my spinner bait, spinner baits. I got my red, white tail from Walmart. I have uh, an old dark red, light pink sort of rattle trip with Colorado blades. This one has this is star albino red eye uh, color one singular Colorado blade. Here's another Walmart one here. Two just one of them. This is a uh, yellow chartreuse color with a small Colorado blade and a large willow leaf blade. Now here I have a really large willow leaf blade. This one's by Striking. Just one of their one dollar lures, chartreuse color. I have my blue and white Walmart, again with the small Colorado blade and a medium sized willow leaf blade. And then this is my big one. This one's a Terminator, I think. Big, wide, uh, Willow leaf with a larger, medium sized Colorado blade. And then I have a couple weighted spoons, but you guys don't want to see that. I don't think that's more for uh, walleye fishing. So that's about it for my spinner baits. Next video I will be moving on is to my crank baits.